Hello and welcome back to another review with me, John. Today I am sitting in front of another bowl of ramen, as you can see. Today's ramen comes from South Korea. Of course, it is from the same company that I've been doing in every single type they come out with. But it's Samyong. And here's the label. Actually, you can't see the very top of it because it got ripped off. Let me see if I can put that on there for you. I am old doc kimchi. Kimchi is, of course, a fermented spicy cabbage and sometimes radish, but it's still the regular hot chicken flavor with the addition of added kimchi. Now, when I read the ingredients, both of the liquid soup base has uh, powdered kimchi in it, and then you get this package of flakes, and this is just kimchi. I'm going to give you... A Hopefully like a close up of that. There's a bunch of these pieces inside here. It looks really good. The mix of the noodles and the kimchi looks really good to me at least. You can see a bunch of them in there. If you've seen my channel before, you know that I've actually had uh, they sell packaged kimchi. It's supposed to be uh, the bulldog flavor. And um, that was very spicy. Um, it made the the Bulldog Light variety, which was supposed to be half spice. It boosted it way up there with the spice level. Anyway, let's go ahead and get started with the Bulldog Kimchi flavor. I'm expecting the kimchi to have a cabbagey flavor and like a garlicky flavor as well. Definitely spicy. What I'm really surprised is the the dried kimchi flakes they put in here really hydrate well and they have a decent crunch for how small they are. They do have like a little that sour cabbageness to it. You know, if you've had any type of fermented cabbage or sauerkraut or kimchi, it does have a sour. Well, I've pulled my hair back because Larry called me a hippie. And yes, Larry, I got the reference. I know what hippies are. To respond, I'll say, Sir, you look like Leslie Nielsen. Really good spice on this. These are always the most complicated and more time-consuming videos that I do for editing purposes. Just because I like to only keep in, like, what I'm saying, anything interesting, or when I'm about to take a bite, and then I cut out all, like, the chewing and slurping and stuff. Most of it, anyway. My lips always get pretty red by the end of these things. I don't know if it's probably a little bit of everything. Probably a combination of the hotness spiciness and the fact that these are very red definitely have a, a strong kimchi flavor to these the other thing that would make this more authentically kimchi is like adding like fresh kimchi to it which bulldog has bulldog kimchi so you can potentially do that or just add any kind of kimchi you can make your own <laughs> Definitely not their spiciest variety. I would say definitely lighter than the 2X. You shouldn't go out in public after eating something spicy like this these days, just because you're going to be uh, sniffling so much, people might think that you're sick. For this one, like, when it first hits your tongue, you just get a chicken and kimchi flavor. It's like a combination of like a salty, savory, and sourness. And like the heat almost doesn't hit you until after you swallow and you have nothing left in your mouth. And you just have the sensation of that heat pain. Just a little bit left. Thank <laughs> you. 
and done. Whew. I would say this is on par with the regular uh, variety, maybe even a little bit spicier. Definitely have lightheadedness. Definitely have like the little bits of sweat on the back of my neck. Definitely have a little singe on the way out too. Anyway, this is definitely a good one. Uh, you should definitely try it. Bulldog kimchi flavor. Hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a like, subscribe to the channel. Until next time, bye. See you later. <coughs> oh, sorry.